Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. All right, when we left off, we had just gotten started with our current empire, as far as it'll let us go, and uh, we are letting time resume so we can gather resources and do other things, uh, namely analyzing other planets and other systems. And the planets in those systems. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> All right. Ooh, someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Restless 2A. I think that's what that says. Yeah, 2A. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere. And appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. So he had to show just how big a dick he had by riding all over the planet with a mining laser. Alrighty then. Alright, sure. Whatever. The difficult life of an alien mercenary. How quaint. All right, anyway. So far, so good. Eventually, I will have to make another, uh, another science ship. But let's see what we have in the way of recruitable new people. Not a lot. Ugh. We got Jian Deng who's an expert in Voidcraft, Dwight Pickett, an expert in Materials, and Vivan Dodam Dodamani, I think that's how you pronounce that name. Construction complete. And they are an expert in Biology. Okay. Fair enough. Governors. We have Edgar Ramsey, Vittoria D'Antoni, and Yusuf Juhani. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad a setup. Oh, traditions. Okay. This is something we can do. What should I put my traditions on first? Discovery is good in the early game. Expansion is good in the early game. But... Which one? Let's do discovery. Just to allow our scientists to be better and faster in our uh, pursuits to map out the galaxy. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. It allows them to increase the anomaly research speed by 20% currently. There we go. And then everything else will select as time goes on. Good. Sounds good to me. System reconnaissance completed. It's been fully surveyed. Beautiful. We've got six minerals three society and three engineering uh, out of that system. Well, we can once we build a star base there. That'll be eventually. That will be eventually. But for right now, we continue on with our trek. There we are. Now let's build stuff on the planet for now. Let's do that. Um... Let's build a generator district. And let's eliminate a sprawling slum. Which will also give us one felon population to then work in that generator district that we are now building. Sounds good to me. Alright. Doing good so far. Admirals, let's see. We got Stephen Stephen Gray, rather. Stephen, Stefan, Stefan. No, it's Stephen. So Stephen. Um, Kyra Dodamani. Is that relation to the other one by any chance? I wonder. And Sauda Sarawiwa. That's a hell of a mouthful. I tell you what. Ooh. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Felinde. 
Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encountered are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. A commendable initiative! Let's Here's do it! Whoop. Hey! Pemberton has leveled up. And has an anomaly to look into. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Hmm. Look into it. Let's see what it did. Yep, Dodamani. That's what I thought. Must be a relation of some kind. Probably. I don't know. Jiahi, a general. Uh, Isabella Muldoon and Courtney Wright. Courtney writes a butcher. Well, might makes right. <laughs> uh, shoot me. Okay. <laughs> Factions we don't have yet. Species is only us. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright. That's good. That's good. Oh, I just realized it was paused the whole time. Oopsie. Um, hmm. Let's build... Uh... Let's build one of these for now. And then we'll focus on... We'll focus on putting in another research facility. Oh! Okay. Solar Sailor. Oh, that's what it was. Makes sense. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Regor 1. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive, design. Gives us some engineering research bonuses. Gotta love that. And after that's built, maybe... Yeah, after the research labs, maybe we'll go after... The Hollow Theater. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. You know what? I think now it's time to expand to that Rosalis place with our outpost. Which is something we can build freely uh, as long as we have the materials to do so. Which is normally 75 influence and 100 alloys. But because of eh, my uh, particular perks, it doesn't cost that much. It's always nice. Anomaly found. Ooh. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Cool. Let's look into it. Gonna take him forever, though, because he's not that high a level of a scientist, but he will still be able to do it. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping they would refresh by now. Ah. Uh, later, 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 later. The market. There we go. Oh. Oh! Slave market. What? Why is that a tab? Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't deactivate that yet. Oopsie. Um, so, in edicts and policies, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, policies is something that you can do when it comes to your uh, how you go about your empire's day-to-day -day life. Um, unrestricted wars for war philosophy, or you can do liberation, where you just, yeah, where you only allow, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you only allow to take planets away from their an empire's control, or 
you just don't do war at all. Unrestricted allows you to do any kind of war you want. Liberation only allows you to take planets outside of an other empire's control. And defensive is only if you are under attack yourself. That's the only time that happens. But uh, there's others like orbital bombardment, which sets the limit on how much you can bombard a planet. Uh, indiscriminate means fuck them all, kill them. Uh, select means eh, go only after military targets. Just keep civilian casualties to a minimum. That's not how Felende does anything. <laughs> Just FYI. Uh, resettlement is allowed. It controls whether or not we are allowed to forcibly relocate populations between planets. If we, for instance, take over a planet, we are allowed to move those people who are there out and put ours in. First contact protocol. We're actually going to change that to peaceful. So that way we will not do immediate hostile actions against other things unless they leave us no choice. As we travel the stars, there will be a definite possibility of finding other light forms, and we need to have a clear stance on how to approach them. Uh, the initial border status will be open for now. Uh, food policy be a dietary balance, which allows our organic pops to have a normal food use and growth speed. Strict rationing, which allows our food upkeep to be really high up, but it does not make our populations happy. Or nutritional plentitude, where it fucks our upkeep of population uh, food, but at the same time makes them happy and lets them grow as a population uh, as they apparently fuck more when they're fed. I don't know. I, I don't understand it. But we'll go with nutritional plentitude. Uh, <laughs> uh, economic policy, we're not going to touch on that quite yet. Uh, trade policy, not quite yet. Because that will fuck a lot of things up if I change it right now. Robotic workers are allowed. Population controls are prohibited. Uh, or are they? Uh, Long-term demographics is too important a matter to be left solely in the hands of individual actors. Huh. Can use non-voluntary species and planetary population controls. Can selectively grow declined species. Um, to reproduce and propagate their species is an inalienable right of all our citizens. Uh... I'm kind of on the fence on this one. I mean... If it's allowed, then I can... <sighs> we'll do it as allowed for now, because it gives me a little bit more... Uh, gives me a little bit more leniency in how I want to do things in the future. But... Uh, probably not going to use it very often yeah we're not going to use it very often for sure uh slavery hell no we're gonna turn that fuck off fuck that purge prohibited that is hmm, that would not be something i can change anyway which a purge pops are unable to work and will ultimately perish but the process will enrage them as well as any sympathetic populations that's why we're not going to do that. Uh, population controls is one thing. Uh, purging them to die is another thing entirely. So that's not something we're going to do at all. Uh, but now we at least know that is something we can't do. So there we go. Every time my chair complains when I go to grab my teacup. That's another level up for someone. And that's the anomaly that you're currently researching. Wow, that's taking a long time. Holy fuck. You'll be at it for a long while. Construction complete. Ooh, he did it. That means I can have him build not only the mining stations, but the complete. research stations. Ooh. And construction on the planet is complete. Good. 
And after he's done doing that, I will have him move back. Uh, cannot do anything as of yet. Ooh, another... Another tradition I can... Employ. Um... Hmm. Which one should I do? Survey speed increased and disengage chance increased by 50%. Let's do that. A new age of exploration is upon us. As we once mapped the surface of our homeworld, we must now brave new terrain. Space. There is a galaxy full of wonder waiting to be discovered. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> and it'll speed up uh, other things as well. Alright. I think it's about time, as much as I don't want to, to buy another, well, pay for another scientist. That way I can build another science ship. And yeah, these are the modules that you can build on your uh, star bases. The Anchorage, gun battery, missile battery, and trade hub. Uh, the Starbase itself has some uh, already built-in things. Complete. Uh, uh, defenses, I should say. Uh, if your Starbases aren't built, uh, or rather, uh, our Starbases defensive platforms aren't built. But uh, it's not very strong. And so you can sometimes default to gun batteries or missile batteries to up it a little bit. We're not going to do that. Uh, we will stick with stuff that has better use. Trade hubs is what we can... Is what we use to build up our trade value. Which is that far right symbol on Straya there. Oh, they gained levels. Hell yeah. So, what are we looking at? this ways yeah we're almost there we're almost done with our first uh round of researching which is always good construction complete construction complete good and now the construction ship will head back to our star system to wait at the starbase, so it's not wasting uh, energy credits. If I can avoid it, I'm going to do it. All right. And now, since it's built, now I'm going to put ISS Wayfarer to work with Vivian Dodamani uh, at the helm. So, they're going to be Vivan, whoops, that was what I meant. All right. Then we'll do this one. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. He's, he's just going around that way. That's right. So, that's fine. Well, first, actually, I realize now this is one he's not visiting yet. So, I'll make uh, Vivan do that. And then we'll go around this way. There we go. That'll work. That'll look good for me. Good shit. Russell Hag. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> Hey, another one! Fuck yeah. Let's put that into research alternatives and science level cap. Let's do that. Perfect. The number of science and medical officers has been increased throughout the fleet, organized into a special science division. To support this core of officers, new training programs have greatly accelerated the rate at which we commission new science officers. Hell yeah. And let's see what took their place. <laughs> Carla Riveros, an expert in industry, which I don't need right now. 
Okay. Science division. Ooh, hey! A new breakthrough. Hell yeah! Good to see. All right. Just in time too for our uh, research alternatives to allow me to get something else too. Huh. Mm. Biodiversity studies would increase my ability to get more science, or rather society research. Uh, Off-world trade companies I won't need for a while. At least not yet. Ground defense planning would be useful, as would adaptive bureaucracy. Hmm. There we go. Let's go with biodiversity studies for now. Studying the different life forms, or rather the different forms of life that appear on our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. And let's look at our other things before I forget. Modulated fields allow for increased production and improved energy yield. And establishing new standards for the modeling and construction of Corvettes greatly improves the efficiency of the production pipeline. There we go. I'm just going to read the, the uh, descriptions just so people don't have to read it themselves. <laughs> Alrighty, even though the market doesn't lead anywhere that we know of right now, I'm going to eventually sell stuff. It, it'll work in my favor. Somehow, um, broken Cybrex warforms. The broken remains of two Cybrex warforms have been discovered in orbit around Rigor VA. Rather, 5A. Uh, they appear to have been destroyed in battle, but no debris from their adversary has been found. Either they were badly outmatched, or there is more to this engagement than it seems. Interesting. New sit rep. We'll look into that. That was on Regor. And the only ship right there is... Sir Nigel Pemberton. Let's have him research that, and then we'll get him back on his path. The path thing that I had set before him. And then... Is it? Oh, hey! How about that? It leads to both of them. So, hell yeah. Don't have to worry too much about it. Fuck yeah. And then... There you go. Beautiful. And then I guess I can lead that over to here. Or not. Not enough actions available. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I definitely have enough minerals now. Let's build that research facility. Research labs. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, now we just wait for the next thing. Which won't be long. Alright. So far, so good. There we go. The Wayfarer is doing pretty good. Running through those planets really quick. Holy shit! I kind of want to see. Division reports a new breakthrough. Wow. Oh hey, that's good. We have completed the research of field modulation. Hell yeah! All right, let's see what we can do. Ooh, I kind of want to do quantum theory since that's available. That would uh, increase the uh, amount of physics research that they would be doing. Then again, blue lasers. Mm, it's very useful, as are improved deflectors. Automated re uh, exploration protocols is kind of unnecessary, although it does increase research speed. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it, or rather, the survey speed. That's what I meant to say. Hmm. That does increase it a lot, but I don't need the automatic portion. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do it. Don't worry about everything else later. Alright. Special project complete. 
Huh. After studying the wreckage of the two Cybrex war forms over Rhaegor 5A, Science Officer Sir Nigel Pemberton II. <laughs> I want to be clear. This happened completely by the computer's own, own design. I did not input that at all, but I keep laughing at how fucking complicated the name is. Whew. Has concluded that they were most likely destroyed while fighting each other. This theory explains the lack of other non-Cybrex debris, and it fits the damage patterns found on the wrecks. Why the two Cybrex vessels turned on each other remains a mystery, however. After they were immobilized, both warforms triggered some kind of self-destruct mechanism that fried their neural processors. Interesting find. Alright. Anomaly found. Ooh. Signs of an ancient precursor civilization in the vicinity of this gas giant. Man, we're just fucking racking them up today. God damn. All right. Well, this year, rather. <laughs> All right. System reconnaissance completed. Beautiful. Two energy, six minerals. And I see one of them's an asteroid. One of them's a planet. Two of them's are planet. And then the Russell Hag star itself, a class B star. The large class B main sequence stars are very bright and blue. Although somewhat rare, the luminosity of these stars make them among the most visible to the naked eye. Interesting. Mm, it does have a lot of good stuff going for it. Let's go build an outpost. Construction complete. Hell yeah. Good to hear. So that research facility is built. It puts it right next to the other one, which ain't too bad. Makes it all look nice-ish and neat-ish. All right. Uh-oh. Now we're st starting to have civilian industries go a little uh, sideways. Uh-oh. Next, uh, next building I make will probably have to be <laughs> civilian industries. Okay. Well, to be fair, it's not going down too far. Too fast. It's nice. I would wish it. Alright. Um, food. Let's sell half of our current. To who? We don't know, but someone. Minerals? Eh, also do half. Again, to who? We don't know, but hey, someone. Someone's buying it. I'll let them. Alright. Now that our alloys amount is actually pretty high, let's up our fleet number. Hell yeah, another tradition. Let's go with... Polytechnic education. Hmm. Leader experience gain is increased by 25% and leader level cap increased by one. That's for all leaders. All of them. That's always nice. In this age of increasingly advanced technology, a basic education in polytechnics and applied science will benefit all of our citizens. This will inevitably lead to more qualified leaders. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Ooh! There's three planets here! Through hard work and expertise, Emperor Tomas has developed new skills. I've developed the investor Science trait. Division reports a new breakthrough. Hell yeah. The investor trait, what does that mean? Uh, you got the expansionist, charismatic, and investor. Trade value is upped. This leader is a shrewd economist, capable of maximizing financial potential. Hmm, interesting. How very useful. Hey, we've finished standardized Corvette patterns. Fuck yeah. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. What were we doing on this? Okay. 
We were not doing physics. Okay. What should we do? Zero G refineries gets us a lot of good stuff a lot quicker. Uh, that ups our mining station output and allows us to do a nebula refinery, which is always very useful in the early game. Um, we could go for coil guns or improved Corvette hulls or nanomechanics, which would up our engineering research very quickly. Honestly, our mining station uh, output would be good because that includes all mining. Uh, energy credit and minerals. That actually would be very good. Okay, you know what? It's also the cheapest, one of the cheapest on this options list. Let's go with it. Sounds good to me. So, short 2A System is completed. not a good planet. At least for us. Alpine World. Complete. And massive glaciers. So, Chort 3A, alongside Chort 3. Chort 3 is an alpine world. It's actually pretty sizable. Chort 3A is not too small, but unstable tectonics. Oh. The world has very unstable plate tectonics. It is prone to massive earthquakes and volcanic activity. Decreases the habitability and happiness of people who are on it. But the engineering research is pretty high. But that mining district number, though. Just one? Ugh. How about no? But it does have a lot of agriculture uh, district expansion potential, which is weird. I find that very odd. Uh, at least it's a planet that's nearby that I can go with. It's something, at least. Oh, just realized that got done. Okay. Construction Build complete. all the mining you can do and then head back to the home port. Sounds good to me. And now the fleet is at its highest that it can be. Hell yeah. Sounds Another good to me. Found. Ooh. A small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. It's on the surface. It's relatively easy, routine. Okay, do it. Let's see what this is about. Hmm. Oh, we're a little over time. Eh, that ain't too bad. Let it go another month. There we go. That sounds good to me. And I shall end the episode and the recording. Nope, that was weird. I must have hit a button. Oh, that's what I did. I hit one of the buttons that allow me to speed through the outliner real quick. Oopsie. <laughs> I'll just put my controller down so I don't do that again. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and expanding our empire and finding some cool shit along the way. Uh, although, it's not as fast as I would hope, but it will be soon. For you.